Today on Retro Bassin, Color Selector Challenge. Stick around. We are back on the creek. Brought my buddy Brandon with me after the Guggen versus Cream Challenge. We decided to change it up a little bit today. We are doing a color selector challenge, that's right. I've got a vintage color selector designed by Dr. Lauren Hill. Depending on stained, clear, or muddy water, the color selector will tell you which color lure the bass are most likely to hit. In addition to our color selector unit, I've got a box of vintage Rebel Redneck Lizards. These were also designed by Dr. Lauren Hill and come in just about every color that the color selector would find. Let's see which one works. It's got three speeds, clear, stained, and muddy. And you've got to decide which it is. Obviously clear is clear. I can never tell stained from muddy. It looks like it's red, maybe a little pink, maybe a little maroon. So right in that quadrant. If this was clear, it'd be green. And here's our tackle box of Rebel Rednecks, also designed by Dr. Lauren Hill. So I think, Brandon, that's gonna be the deal. All right, first one on the color selector, man. Color selector. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at that fish, man. So Brandon, as you unhook that fish, um, we got to address something from the last video. Okay. Uh, your hook set. Oh. Have you been working That's on? how we're going to start our morning? <laughs> That's how we're going to start our morning. You catch a three pounder, we're going to start talking about the hook set. Um, been working on it, clearly. <laughs> um, admittedly, uh, you know, our friends on uh, YouTube. They said you should be more manly with it. I don't know what that means technically, but... Um, were you more manly with this hook set? You know, I'm, I'm feeling better about, uh, about that hook set. All right, first one. When I was a kid, my number one color of this bait was this guy. This sort of sparkle green with the red neck. Again, the color selector is not recommending this color right now, but I've used it in the past before I even had a color selector, so we'll see. I'm trying my best not to fish fast. It is so hard when you know there's fish there not to fish too fast. I am really trying not to. All right, so we're taking a little fishing break, a little taco break here. We only got one so far, but it was in fact on the actual color selector choice, which is kind of cool. It was on that red, orange, pink kind of thing. That is true. So, um, and then Brandon switched to Guggen because he just can't help himself. <laughs> I don't know why you did that. Uh, for like a minute. <laughs> Sausage, egg, and cheese, and we have potato egg and cheese here. Nice. I'll we'll do, uh, just do a bacon, egg, and cheese. I'll do a like? potato and a bacon. Okay. Double it up. All right. Awesome. We just checked the color selector, and conditions have changed a little bit. The sun came out. As far as the colors that'll be best, it said two options. Basically, either a black or a blue. Switch Brandon up. Color selector said he should be using black, and black was not cutting it. So switch to red. He was threatening to switch to a Guggen bait, so I gave him the most Guggen-like color that I could, <laughs> which is this uh, <laughs> green pumpkin. There's a ton of fish cruising right in this little area. We're gonna make a couple more casts with the blue that the color selector says, and I think we're gonna switch. What's up? That's a nice little fish. He was cruising right there. Woo! <laughs> nice. Color selector strikes again. 
Nice little largemouth bass. I used to tear up some bass on farm ponds with this bad boy. There's a nice little creek bass. He was cruising, I saw him cruising around. He came up and popped it, set the hook on him, and actually got him in. Nice. studio but before I talk about this guy let me geek out just a little bit about this guy Dr. Lauren Hill when I think of some of the unsung heroes of bass fishing I can't help but bring up Dr. Lauren Hill he had a ton of great inventions at the time many of which are still in use today here's an old classic from Dr. Hill this is called the chow hound crankbait it's a diving crankbait with a little spinner on the bottom Here's another invention from Dr. Hill, the snake tricks. It's a soft plastic designed to emulate a water snake, initially marketed by Bill Norman Lures. The snake tricks was later re-released by Bass Pro Shops under the avoidance behavior line. Speaking of avoidance behavior, this is a really cool line that Bass Pro Shops came out with that were all Dr. Lauren Hill Lures, including the chow hound, pretty sweet topwater bait, this crank bait with a soft plastic tail and this subsurface walking bait. The Avoids Behavior Lure series reflects Dr. Hill's findings and every style is designed to reproduce actual behavior and body movements exhibited by frightened prey. I love these things. And let's not forget this, the Dr. Lauren Hill fishing tree. One of the first man-made artificial structures out there that you could actually buy in a store and place in your own pond. Okay, thanks for letting me geek out a little bit. Now back to the reason that we're here, the color selector. After nine years of research, Dr. Hill discovered a range of 26 different colors that bass could see best. To determine which of these 26 colors was most effective under different light and water conditions, Dr. Hill had a pretty ingenious experiment. He painted crawfish different colors, placed them in a tank, and observed which crawfish were eaten by bass under different conditions. The results of those experiments ultimately were the basis for the color selector, introduced by Lake Systems in 1984. The wild thing about the color selector craze is that almost every major lure manufacturer got on board, and they produced kits like this. There were even specially designed tackle boxes, so you can put in lures to match the different colors that you might find with the color selector. Now let's say you didn't actually have the right color lure on board, well Dr. Hill even had an answer for that. Check out this Select the Color Kit, which came with three unpainted lures and markers so you could color them yourself. And let's not forget my favorite bait, the Rebel Redneck. Now back to the question at the start of this video. Does this thing work? All right, first the bat when it comes to this. Yes, there are 26 separate colors that this thing will find, but any color selector branded lure generally only came in one of six colors. Those are those six that we saw. The red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Go down the tackle aisle at a Bass Pro Shops or Academy Sports today, and you will find about 90% of all soft plastics are in a green pumpkin or a watermelon red flake derivative. Ironically enough, on the full day that we fished with this thing, that color never came up. I joked that Brandon was having a little bit of Guggen withdrawal, but it's true, I was too. It's one of my favorite colors, and again, every time you put this thing in, it's sending you towards some really loud, fluorescent, maybe non-natural color. Now for the positive. One of the biggest lessons I got from the color selector today was the fact that color does make a difference. We were fishing with the same lure all day, and the only variation we had were the color patterns. Absolutely, it made a difference switching colors. Maybe it was the color the color selector recommended. Maybe it was a different color. If nothing else, the color selector got me trying out colors that otherwise I would not use. That blue metal flake that I caught my fish on, there's no way I would have used that today. But because this guy sent me in that direction, I did, and guess what? That caught the fish. Well, looking at my reserve of old Dr. Lauren Hill lures, you can tell we're gonna have some more color selector episodes coming up. 
In the comment section below, let me know your favorite oddball color. I caught one on that blue metal flake I did not expect to. Uh, let me know what your most unique lure is that you catch fish on. Thanks for watching Retro Bassin. If you enjoyed what you saw today, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss anything, and definitely fish it old school.